Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is Rex Furry uh, with my first Game Maker tutorial. Um, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic platform game. So yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, you'll notice that in the, dis the uh, description box, if you read it, hopefully you did, um, this is strictly for beginners. Um, but although it is for beginners, uh, you may want to still... I don't know, watch it to maybe learn something. So, and also, if you read in the description box, which I really hope you did, um, it shows the times where, um, like, this time between this time, um, this is what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial. So, yeah. So, for all those slow internet users out there, or for whatever else, or other reason, um, yeah, you can look at those times and skip ahead to that time and basically just see what you want to know. And yeah, that is my first introduction for my first tutorial. Oh, also, um, if you are working in Game Maker Lite, uh, which is the freeware uh, demo version, um, you're going to want to go to Advanced Mode, which is... Um, you go to file when you open up game maker you go to file then you go to advanced mode so yeah all right so the first thing that you want to do and this will be basically the first thing you want to do for every single thing in game maker um the first thing you want to do is you want to make a sprite okay which is located up here it's the little uh little red pac-man thing so it says create a sprite when you do that so I guess that's pretty decent so let's just click on it alrighty and you get this thing and it says sprite properties okay and this is where you name it obviously so we're just gonna name this player alright there we go and we do not want to load a sprite cause I don't have any sprites right now well I mean I do but I'm not going to go into that right now. It will probably be in another tutorial. But um, anyway, for now, let's just do Edit Sprite. Yeah. All right. So there's nothing here right now. There's just this uh, faded out box. And just click Show Preview here. And you don't, even, you don't see a thing. And the reason for that is because it is click Transparent, which means... All this green is the transparent color, which you will not see when you make your sprite. So we want to click untransparent, because I'm just going to color that whole thing. So to work with this, to create a uh, your own sprite, you want to double click, and you get this box here. Image editor. This is where all the magic happens. Well, some of the magic. So you want to zoom in. Well, I do. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint this guy black, and I'm gonna make a really qu uh, quick sprite here. Wait, no, I don't want him black. Uh, it's a lame color. Here we go, green, light green, kind of. That is a cool color. All right, I'm sure everyone agrees. Uh, let's just make a quick little guy here. So how's your day been? Uh, just trying to pass time here. Um. Okay, we are done now. Alright, so there's our little guy. And we also want to make a another little guy here. But for this little guy, the second little guy, we want to go to transform, mirror horizontal, which will turn the other way. Oh, also, okay, and he'll be looking weird. Also, how I did that, how I uh, made a second guy was I pressed this little button up here, copy image to clipboard, and then I pressed paste image from the clipboard. So click on the image you want to copy, copy that, and then paste it. And to delete it, just press the delete key on your keyboard. And hopefully you have one. And yeah, so right now it looks really hectic. Um, you can change the speed down from here by like just... Uh, writing another number where it says speed so anyway I'm just going to keep it 5 alright so we have our player and uh yeah 
we're we're uh we're on the verge of a breakthrough to an awesome game here kind of all right so let's just click okay and so you got your player all right so the next thing that you want to do is you want to click this little uh, blue ball here that says create an object you just click that right there and this little ob uh, thing called object properties comes up all right for this we are going to make an object out of our player all right so we're just going to name this player and to make this object um like be the player sprite thing that we made we want to just click sprite and this little thing right here and then click player there we go and now we have our player our first player object so uh yeah it's getting pretty exciting here all right well that we have uh done that we want to add an event all right so oh, just a second okay i'm back um just checking the time all right so we need to add an event and this little thing comes up and says event selector okay now this is where the other half of the magic comes so what we want to do is click create and we want to go over doo -doo -doo. and now we want to click on the what the heck okay alrighty there we go we want to go on main one click that and then you get this huge list of selection option choices and what we want to click on is sprite ch well change sprite all right for this we want we want to go to our player sprite which is the only one we have right now some image is zero and speed is also zero and that's all we do we just click ok and yeah so that's our first thing and our second thing we want to do is make another event which is step so just regular step all right and in the step event we want to choose uh, go to control and choose if position is collision free wait hang on okay uh... just a second okay where is it okay wait never mind never mind okay we just want to choose check this check empty thing right here okay i don't know what i was doing alright so for this we want to do zero and then well x equals zero y equals one and objects only solid and then check relative and that's all we do for that pretty simple right and then we set gravity which is the very first one move and by the way what we are doing right now is setting the gravity for our player so he will have gravity and and um, he won't like be floating all over the place and be all weird all right okay so for direction we want to do 270 and for gravity we want to do 0 0.5 and that's all we do for that so we got if uh, position is collision free set gravity and then we want to go to control again and we want to just put else and then again want to go back to move and we want to set the gravity all right in this one direction is the same as the first one 270 but the gravity just stays zero and that's all you do for that so it's just really simple so if, uh, if position is collision free set the gravity else set the gravity so you're just basically doing things over kind of Okay.